Yo, 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 guys. How's it going? I wanted to upload a quick video because I've got three really good reasons why you guys should be getting this game. This is the American version of Street Fighter 30th Anniversary Collection. This game has not come out in Japan yet. Uh, although the options are in Japanese, this is the American version that I got from the American PSN. The Japanese version will be coming out late this fall because a lot of people complained because in Japan this game was, was going to be called Street Fighter 30th Anniversary Collection International. As in, it's the American ROMs that would be sold in Japan. A lot of people complain that they're like, okay, 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 we're sorry, we're gonna release this game. The official Japanese version will be released in late fall. So anyways, I just got three reasons for you guys to buy this game. Most of you who are subscribed to this channel like arcades, like arcade cabinets, you like watching videos of uh, well, my, my mini arcade room, because it's not that big, but, you know, I got a few. Uh, I got only two cabinets, but they're pretty kick-ass from my point of view. And first of all, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go, just going to move back a little. I want to show you guys, this is how it's looking. I mean, you guys, those who are familiar with my arcade setup, pretty much, pretty much know how it works, but I just wanted to show you guys how it looks. It's just so cool to have this collection on an arcade cabinet. Anyway, so like I said, three reasons why you guys should get this game. And I know there are a lot of reviews, this is not a review, because if I make a review, there are a million reviews, who cares, you know? You've got re reviewers who have great caption, great narration, I just like to talk about arcade stuff. So yeah, if you guys are interested, keep watching this video. Anyway, first of all, reason number one, and this is a really good reason, is how practical it is to have so many games into one console or so many ROMs into one game, let's say. So the thing is, is like, when you're an arcade owner, of course, having the original hardware is freaking kick-ass. It's awesome. It's just great to show it off. It's just great to have it. You know, you got a piece of history in your house. I get it. But if you're like me, and you love playing fighting games, and you like to switch from one game to the other very quickly, without unplugging stuff, this game is made for you. So that's the first reason, is to have all of these games into one compilation, let's say. So you have from Street Fighter all... Street Fighter 1, all the way down to Street Fighter 3 Third Strike, okay? So that's one really good reason. All right, so which game should we pick? You know, to be honest, I'm, I'm a big fan of Street Fighter Alpha 2. A lot of people are prefer Street Fighter Alpha 3, but I guess I'm one of the few who just love Alpha 2 for, for some reason. So one good thing is that before entering the game, push the option button, and then you can, you can change all the settings if you want, which is pretty cool. So we're just gonna get in there. And, Reason number two why you guys should have this if you are an arcade owner, an arcade cabinet owner, is these ROMs actually have the attraction mode. So as you can see, look at that. Look at that beautiful opening. Let's just move back for those who like arcade cabinets, right? Can you guys see? Alright, sorry, the lighting isn't that good, but you guys can see what I'm talking about. So one thing, you, I, I'm sure that all of you who have arcade cabinets, sometimes you just turn on the arcade cabinet, you just like to have it in uh, like attraction mode. I'm one of those people, I don't know about you guys. And I just like, you know, just turn on the cabinets, have a couple drinks and just relax and have this in the background. I don't necessarily play every day. And sometimes, when they release these new games, these new, like, revamped versions of these old games, sometimes they don't include attraction mode. And that pisses me off so much, because I turn on the game, and all I have is the start, the start screen, right, or the options. And look at that, it's just running there, it's just so cool. It looks like the authentic, like if you had the authentic hardware in your arcade cabinet. You just watch it, you know? That's another reason, okay? Then, my third reason 
is, let's just get a little closer. Sorry, I know this isn't the best video in the world, but freak it. You guys know my style. Kind of half-assed, but here we go. So, let's play. Now, I have a small problem is that, as you can see here, you've got the options, which is a good thing. Now, if you want to start the game, you need to you need to create a start button. And the thing is that I only have six buttons that are wired to this cabinet. So what I need to do is, it's, it's so weird. So I, I go into the options. I change the start button to up. Okay, go back, push up. That didn't work. Let me try that again. Up. Don't worry, this isn't gonna take too much time. Here we go, up push up and it's not working for some freaking reason of course because I'm making a video you gotta love it <laughs> Fuck. there you go okay so now I'm in the game so I gotta go back right and then go to default and that's it I can play the game now that's my fault because I don't have all the buttons uh, wired to the arcade cabinet, but anyway, I can play. I know it's a hassle, so you guys are gonna say, "Oh, it's shit." It's not shit. It, that's my fault, okay? So anyway, what are we gonna choose? Let's go for Kenny's. And the sound is really good. The bass is awesome. When you do a super finish, you get that. It's just so awesome. There you go, and you're playing. Up oh, Hadouken. Look at that, man. And that sound is so good. So, what's my third reason, right? You guys are waiting for it. Well, I'll show you guys. Up, you push start, you've got all the options. And one thing that's really good about this game is that they give you like a command list, which sometimes doesn't even appear in these like revamped versions. You can change the buttons. You can actually save and load, which is something I don't think I'll ever uh, choose. And then what's good is that you've got like the display options. And what's what's good is that it's very simple. Sometimes these things get very complicated. They let you stretch the screen, cram it. They let you put it into 16 by 9 mode or, or uh, this and that mode. And it gets very complicated for the average Joe. Here, you've got three options. Now, some people might see it as like, oh, it's restricted. You can't do what you want. Dude, it's very simple. You got original. So the screen is a little smaller, full. It takes up not the whole screen, but it kind of like stretches it up to the top and bottom part. And then you've got wide, which is something I would never use. But I, apparently the new generation, they like to have full screen like this. They don't really mind having the sprites completely stretched out. So it's very simple. It's there, one, two, and three. And I like that. I don't have to hold back and go, you know, usually they have those options like that, like very complicated. In my case, I'm not very fond of that. And then, uh, no, which were really interesting. So again, the third, the third reason is, is that the options are very simple, but they're there and it's more than enough from my point of view. Now, what I find very interesting is that you've got two kinds of filters. You've got TV, TV monitor, where the scan lines are moving from left to right. Shall we scan, uh, not scan, shall we move in? Look at that. Grandpa here is gonna give us a little demonstration of scan lines, okay? <laughs> okay, so that's TV monitor, and then you've got arcade monitor, which is like this. So it goes from up, it doesn't look like it's going from up to down. It's like, it's like, I don't know, like, like this like intertwined, I don't know what, what's the term, it's really weird. And then you've got, ah, what the fuck? No freaking filter. Some people might like it. In my case, I'm more of a TV monitor guy. So I like these options. They're simple, you push the start button, one, two, three, and you're in. You don't need more options than this. Some people might debate against this, but that's fine. For my, in my case, I'm more of a plug in and play. You know, I like to keep it simple. I like to play video games. And if you want, uh, let's just put this in full. I like full. I don't think it, the image isn't that distorted if you're playing full. And then uh, you can add like um, some sort of like background. Uh, I think that was the, uh, the um, what do you call it? The artwork for uh, Street Fighter 
zero two or or alpha two in America. I think in Japan it was different, but they 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 let you add this blue thing or depending on the game it changes. I I find that distracting to be honest. So I just turn it off. And there you go. And then that's it. You just play and you have a good time, right? So like I said, having all these games into one compilation, right? And then you've got all these options, but they're simple. It's just plug in and play. And also the fact that you have attract mode. Oh my God, thank you so much for giving, giving us attract mode. Because nowadays, I mean, who the hell watches the, the intro, right? You watch it once and then that's it. So nowadays, developers are like, you know what? We don't need to add this. I mean, the average Joe wants to play the game. But in my case, I've got an arcade cabinet. I want to watch the intros. And my favorite intro is by far this one. And you guys know which one I'm talking about. Take a look at this. Let's go back. So you see, you've got a kick-ass arcade cabinet right there, and you've got this playing in the background. So, I don't know, you're just chilling out in your place, right? Having a drink, and you've got this just rolling in the background, giving you that arcade atmosphere. It's awesome. Really, really awesome. Anyway, I don't want to ramble too much. Hopefully the gameplay wasn't that bad. Look at that. And it's just playing like that. Anyways guys, those are my three really good reasons why you should get this game. Also, it's a cheap game, it's 40 bucks, they're not gonna rape you with 40 or 60, 60 dollar um, prices. And there you go guys, hopefully you like this video, uh, just tell me what you want to see. If you want to see more videos about this game, you want me to show you around uh, the options and all that stuff. I'm sure other reviewers can cover all that stuff, but I always think like in this channel, scan lines and things that are related to arcade cabinets, I think that's those are the points that I need to touch and I think I covered them. So there you go guys, keep playing, keep kicking ass, keep having fun. I'll see you guys soon, peace out.